Hello internet, internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. This is the roundup for the week ending on Saturday, January 21st. This is the show where I take a look back at what has been, take a look ahead at what will be, and chat you guys up for 10 or 15 minutes. So this was a little bit of a weird week. You guys know that last week I was a little bit down with the nasally business, and I still kind of am. You can kind of hear it just a little bit. Really, really weird. This is a, a new thing for me. I'm usually rather healthy for a fat guy, and it's a little bit odd to have uh, this nasal thing coming and going every few weeks and really stay, staying with me a long time. It's kind of concerning. So uh, a little bit of light production last week. We only had the one video, and that was the video for the Indie Royale. I called it Radian Royale because we focused on the three games from Radian Games. That was, of course, Inferno, plus sign, Slidris, and Ballistic. So those three games, wonderful games, Luke Schneider, all the way, big thumbs up. Video got just a little bit of attention when Indie Royale retweeted it. Haven't seen any reaction from Luke yet, kind of hope for something from him. Uh, I tweeted it at him, so I hope that he sees the video, because I think when you're a smaller independent developer like that and you're going through struggles like he's been going through talking on his website about the idea that uh, his games aren't really getting noticed on the level that he would like them to get noticed, this video can kind of serve maybe as a little bit of encouragement that even if you're not making it big just yet or you're not where you want your career to be, I don't know that he has any designs on being the next, I don't know, Jonathan Blow or Phil, Phil Fish or whatever, but he clearly wants more than what he has right now, and I, and I want to show him that he's got fans out there. He's got people who appreciate his work, who like his particular style of game, and who really want to see him do great things. So I hope he does see the video, and I hope that he can give me a little bit of feedback on it and uh, let me know what he thought. So uh, thumbs up for Luke, and fingers crossed that he will see the video. So I'm just kind of going off the cuff this week, just trying to get through this because, again, the nasally thing. I am really frustrated by the fact that this just won't go away, so I'm just going to kind of blab on here, talk a little bit, and then uh, say goodbye. So we've covered the past week. Let's talk about what's gone over, over the weekend. Over the weekend, I've been extensively testing the streaming setup and really not having a ton of positive success. I got everything to work. I mean, I actually did a brief stream. The Nitro Mountain was nice enough to pop in and say hello during that, but I'm having a lot of trouble setting it up. I mean, I can see why people like XSplit, and I can see why a lot of people were heartbroken when it finally went retail, because it does take an awful lot of steps and combine them into one nice shiny front end. So I'm going through the process of doing the streaming setup that a lot of uh, a lot of folks use who tend to kind of come off as elitists. Like, this is the way that you really should stream. It's so much more efficient. And it takes like five programs being open at once and you have to write, you know, a, a batch file and just crazy stuff. So I'm working on it. It's working. You know, I had to do some... Uh, some upgrades to some of my drivers and stuff, but I got everything working okay. I think right now I'm just being bottlenecked by my internet connection. I have a fairly decent internet connection, but it's just not appearing to be uh, quite where I want it to be to get the stream where I want it to be. So some of the fears that I had about streaming were negated by the testing that I've done over the weekend, so that's good. It seems that the computer should be able to handle it more or less, and uh, everything should go well once I get my internet upgraded just a little bit. So uh, everything seems really positive right now. Streaming definitely seems like something I'm going to do, but it's been a very daunting couple of days getting into the streaming, reading all the tutorials, learning all the things I need to learn in order to actually get this thing up and running. So if you follow me on Twitch TV, you may get spammed occasionally by messages of me starting and stopping the stream. Uh, I do apologize for that, but uh, things should get more regular and you should get more content coming from me. I'm really going to use the stream as a means to create content that is in addition to what I'm normally doing. So I'm going to record stuff on the stream that I can use those VODs in order to create YouTube videos from those and give you guys some additional content. I'm, I had mentioned um, free to play Fridays and I may actually do free to play Friday content using the stream. So we actually could be playing games on 
you know, Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern, and I'm actually using that as a recording for Free to Play Friday. So that sort of stuff's what I'm what I'm talking about with the stream. You know, if anybody decides to pop on, and we decide to play the same kind of game, but the same game together, that would be great. Uh, I think Nitro is going to set up on uh, Tribes Ascend, as of course you guys know I play the hell out of Tribes Ascend. I really don't know. I mean, that game has hooked me really just hard. I'm really, really on that game, and I really, really enjoy it. I get frustrated with it sometimes when things aren't working the way that I would want them to work, uh, but all in all, I'm really, really enjoying that game. I haven't been this passionate about a first-person shooter in a long time, and Tribes has really stirred something in me that I haven't really felt since uh, probably the Quake days in terms of devotion to the game, and just when I sit down at my computer, the first thing I think is, wonder if anybody's playing Tribes. So that really says a lot about the way that the game has uh, has gotten its hooks into me. So, yeah, where am I going? I'm just rambling, really just totally just, this is just a stream of consciousness thing from one subject to another. Jeez, all right. So uh, we've covered last week with the Radian Royale video. We've covered the weekend with streaming and how much I love tribes. And so let's talk about what we're going to do next week. I don't really know what I have planned for next week per se. I do have some stuff I want to give away, and this is going to be the last week of April uh, this coming week, so I want to get that stuff done. Um, I thought I had some indie, uh, some indie Gala number threes to give away, but actually I didn't end up pulling the trigger on that purchase. So uh, apparently I put the purchase into process and then never finished it. So I checked my account and did not in fact have any Indie Gala number threes. Checked my uh, checked my PayPal and had not made any payments to Indie Gala. So apparently I didn't get those uh, gifts that I had meant to get. And now the Indie Gala is over. So I do have about three Indie Gala number twos, if we can confuse ourselves with a bunch of different numbers here. So Indie Gala number two was the one that I think had like 13 games in it. And God, it escapes me what was even in that bundle. Robo Blitz, Fortix 2, there was a bunch of stuff in there. Uh, so that's the one that, uh, it, it's actually Indie Gala 1 and 2 combined uh, in that bundle. So it's like 13 games, 9 albums. It's a pretty good haul if, you, uh, if you're looking to build your gaming collection up. So look for that this week. I will do that on the website, and that's probably just going to be, hey, post if you want one, and we'll do a drawing. So that's going to be nice and simple. Don't have to worry about it getting taken away from you by someone who responds more quickly than you do. Of course, there's going to be a time limit on the drawing, so if you don't respond within that time limit, then you're going to lose to someone who responded quicker than you, but you know what I'm saying. <sighs> All right, the last thing I want to hit on are are the bundles that are going on right now. Of course, we have the Indie Royale Spring Bundle. As of this recording, there's about three days left on that. There have been a couple of bonuses unlocked. Toby and Friends Hookshot Escape Original Soundtrack, uh, which is a soundtrack for an iOS game that uses that features Toby. But of course, Toby's Vertical Adventure is the game that's featured in the actual bundle. And we also have the soundtracks for the three Radian games, Inferno, Sliders, and Ballistic. Luke has a very specific style when it comes to his soundtracks, and all of these make really good backing music. If you're just going to hang out and just play some games and you want some music to back it up, they all make really, really great backup tracks just for your life in general. If you're on the computer, his music really works well just to put on and just have that sort of not so aggressive thumping techno in the background of everything you do. It's kind of cool. I would walk around with that as a soundtrack to my life if I could. So that is the Spring Bundle. Spring Bundle is available for under $5 at the moment. Pay more if you can. And it is available for just about three more days. What else do we have here? We have Group E's with their Be Mine Bundle number two. They are benefiting a hunger charity this time around, and it is a meal setup. So two bucks gets one meal. You need a minimum of two in order to get the bundle. So that's gonna be four bucks for this bundle at minimum. You're gonna get the baconing, plain sight, mad balls, beat hazard, and soul survivor. If you're willing to dip into your pocket a little bit more and go to at least five or more meals, you can get the amazingly wonderful killing floor. You can get Return to Wonderland featuring a very busty Alice in a graphic novel here, as well as some music. They have achieved three of their five stated goals, so they've hit certain levels, 5,000 meals, 
uh, 12,000 meals, 25,000 meals, and they have unlocked some additional goals, uh, some additional content. If you'd like to see that, head over to groupease.com slash bmind2. That link is also in the description below. All right, last but not least, certainly not least, is the humble Botanicula Bundle. Bo Botanicula? Botanicula. Botanicula. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, you know, you know what I'm talking about, right? Humblebundle.com for that. We have that. We have Machinarium in this bundle. Again, Machinarium has been featured in two or three bundles at this point. You probably have Machinarium because it's been in so many indie bundles. I think it was in the first bundle. And then the first bundle was also offered as a bonus to people who bought the second bundle. Yeah, so there's been a lot of chances to get Machinarium at this point. And uh, you also have Samarust 2, which I actually know nothing about. If you're willing to beat the average, you can get Windowsill and the indie film Kooky, which looks very, very interesting. I really, really like the look of this. It reminds me a lot of uh, the sort of stuff that Jim Henson was doing in the, in the 80s with movies like uh, uh, Dark Crystal and Labyrinth and that sort of stuff, you know, just putting, setting something in a very interesting world and um, making intriguing, uh, practical effect characters. You know, these aren't CGI, they appear to be puppets. Uh, they don't look stop motion, but you know, they appear to be puppets. Really cool stuff, really good looking movie. I like the, the stylistic look of the film uh, just from the preview that I watched of it. So you are gonna have to shell out a bit to get that, it's going to be uh, at least $8.81, which is the current average. Now, some people kind of look at that and think, mm, and you groan, you know, especially when you look at the, the $4.60 average over on the Indie Royale. But honestly, that's a good thing because the Humble Bundle has been kind of on the low end. You know, they've been having some trouble with people exploiting it. Right around bundle number two, number three, people realized, dishonest people realized they could take advantage of a very uh, a very generous offer from Humble Bundle, which was that you could basically pay a penny and get Steam codes. Now you have to pay at least $5 to get the Steam codes. And the reason that is, is because greedy, selfish, self-centered people ruin it for everyone else. If you are a person out there that just can't afford that $5, then you've been screwed by people who tried to exploit the system. And I'm sorry for that. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, I'm talking about that with the Humble Bundle 3 especially, a lot of folks came in, purchased hundreds of bundles for a penny, and then sold those bundles or traded those bundles with the Steam codes for things like Team Fortress 2 items. So yeah, a lot of people really exploited the bundle and that led to the $1 minimum and then eventually that has led now to the $5 minimum. I don't have a problem with it because quite frankly, people out there can't behave themselves. People out there can't act like civilized people. When people are trusted not to take advantage of a charity and then they take advantage of that charity, you have no choice but to step in and put some adult parameters in place here. You know, this is intended to be something that is for good and people are exploiting it. And oftentimes it saddens me to see the nature of those sorts of people, that it is in their nature to look at something that is positive and think how they can benefit most from it. Me personally, I look at something like this as a wonderful thing. Others look at it as an opportunity for deception. So. Yeah, shame on them. And anybody who has a problem with the $5 and can afford that $5, screw you. If you can't afford the $5, you can still pay a dollar and you can get all these games in their non-DRM form to download directly from the Humble Bundle site. It's just a premium that you're having to pay for Steam codes. It sucks that we have to be here, but because of others, because of the dishonesty of others, we have to be here, so. I apologize to those of you out there because I know a lot of my viewers are younger and, and probably can't necessarily pull a $5 bill out of their po pocket right now and just slap it down for this. I'm sorry. It sucks. It sucks that other evil people have ruined it for everyone. Now you are again going to have to beat that average to get the final two games or the, fi the final game and the movie $8.81. I think that's a great thing. I'm glad the average is that high because this is benefiting charity. In this case, it's the World Land Trust, which is saving the rainforests and saving acreage the world over, protecting our environment. Again, uh, Botanicula, Botanicula, got that name. The game is very, you know, nature-based. I believe you play as a group of trees in the game. So, uh, you know, it's fitting that they would choose that sort of a group in order to actually uh, 
benefit from this bundle. So pay what you can for the Humble Bundle, but remember those caveats, $5 to get your Steam codes and $8.81 as of this recording in order to get the additional two items. In typical Humble Bundle fashion, you can expect them to probably add additional content as we tick down closer to the uh, five day mark or so. They usually add some content close to the five day mark. So yeah, keep, uh, keep a watch out for that. And uh, yeah, I think that's all in terms of bundles. This has gone a lot longer than I intended it to go, partially because I'm just kind of talking and talking and talking and I can't stop my mouth from talking. So uh, yeah, look forward to some streaming from me in the weeks to come. Check the website. I'm not sure what we're going to be doing next week in terms of video production, but I will get one or two videos out most certainly. Hopefully by next week, this sinus thing will be completely gone. Because it's not that I mind talking with a little bit of snot in my nose, it's that I've had to pause this recording about 10 times to cough and to quench my throat because I'm, uh, m my voice is, is going away, I'm losing, and my throat is drying out, I'm, I'm coughing. It's that stuff. It's the secondary stuff. It's not necessarily the stuffiness. Like, I'll talk all day with a little bit of a stuffed up nose. I don't care about that. It's... It's the fact that my voice is actually breaking that I care about. So, uh, yeah, tune in, guys. This week is going to be interesting. Hopefully, by next week, everything will be good to go. Voice will be healed. Sinuses will be clear. And everything will be great. I have been Big Dave. And until next time, take it easy.